Now our next topic is law of demand. Now we already know what is demand and what are the factors that affect the demand of a commodity. After that we need to know what is the law of demand. See, according to law of demand, other things remaining the same. Demand will be more when price is less and demand will be less when price is more. It has an inverse relationship. Okay. Now what are these other things? See, the other things are called the assumptions of law of demand. See, what are the assumptions? There are three assumptions here. There should be no change in income of the consumer, price of related goods, fashion, taste and preferences. Law of demand refers to change in demand only because of the price of the commodity and not of the rest of the, not because of the rest of the factors that affect the demand. Okay, we had studied about four factors. One was price of the commodity and the others were these three, the income of consumer, price of related products and fashion, taste and preferences. So in law of demand, only the price is changing and there is no change in the rest of the three, uh, three factors. Okay, so this is what you have to write when law of demand is asked from you, the definition of law of demand and then after that the assumptions. Then you need to illustrate law of demand with the help of a demand curve and a demand schedule. See, demand schedule is a tabular representation of price and quantity demanded of any commodity and this is the demand curve, the graphical representation of the same data. Okay, you see what is happening here. Price of the uh, price we I have price of mangoes in rupees here and quantity demanded of mangoes in kg. So when the price of mangoes was 120 rupees per kg, the demand was 80 kg. And when the price fell down is falling down to rupees 100, what is happening? The demand in, is increasing to 100 kg. Again, when price falls to 80 rupees, the demand increases to 150 kg. You see, there, with the fall in price, there is an increase in demand of the commodity. Okay, so this is law of demand. Law of demand says that when the price of a commodity falls, the demand increases. And when the price of a commodity increases, the demand falls. Okay, this is illustrated here in the demand curve. Demand curve is downward sloping to the right you see the demand curve dd shows the quantity demanded of mangoes at various price levels we have taken quantity demanded on x axis and we have price level on y axis so this way you need to show the definition of law of demand and assumptions and after that law of demand illustrated through a demand curve and demand schedule and in case this question is of six marks you also need to explain some exceptions to law of demand yes so Jiffin goods are the goods where increase in price causes an increase in demand which is reversing the usual law of demand you see the concept of Jiffin goods is limited to very poor com commu uh, communities which have a very limited choice so what happens when the price of Jiffin goods increases, their demand also increases. So what can be an example for this? If you are very poor and the price of your basic food stuff, for example, bread increases, then you cannot afford more expensive alternative food. Therefore, you end up buying more bread because that is the only thing you can afford. Hence, the demand for bread is increasing with the increase in price of bread because that is still the cheapest food available for you. Okay, now second exception, exception to law of demand is fashion. I have already told you if a commodity is in fashion, it is demanded more even at higher price. Now third exception to law of demand can be expectation of change in price. See, for example, today the cost of onion in the market is 80 rupees and yesterday it was 90 rupees. So today the cost has fallen down. Um, uh, has a fall of 10 rupees okay so it has fallen down to 80 rupees but I am expecting that by the end of this week the, the cost of onion would fall down to 60 rupees so what will happen even when there is a fall in price from 90 to 80 but still 
since I am expecting that the price will fall more to 60, I am not purchasing at 80. Why? Because I know that it is going to fall even more. So I am waiting for the price to fall more and then I am going to purchase it maybe by the end of this week. So here what has happened? The price has decreased but the demand has not increased because there is an expectation of even more decrease in price of the commodity. Okay. Now next is snob effect. Snob effect happens on those goods which have a usually high economic value but low practical values. Some people they have a demand to have some unusual goods, some antique commodities like rare works of arts or designer clothing or some antique items. The more the cost of those items, the more will be its demand. And if the, its cost is falling or its availability is increasing, the demand is going to fall okay the lesser the availability of products more is the availability more is the demand of those products okay now possibility of war if there is a possibility of war in the economy what will happen the people will demand more at the current price whether it is high or low because they know that later the goods the commodities which they need might not be available so they are going to demand more at whatever the current price is now ignorance some people buy commodities at a higher price just because they don't know they don't have the knowledge that it is sold at a higher price or maybe somewhere else they could buy it at low price